just want to share with you what I've been working on for the past couple of weeks. Building a workshop table for my shop. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Stan Lee and I'm from RC Tank Legion. Thank you for watching my channel. So today, this is not really RC Tank related. I just want to share with you what I've been working on for the past couple of weeks. Building a workshop table for my shop. So it's not very difficult, but it's been an interesting uh, journey. So I just want to share with you what I've been doing with it. And what I did was I got a huge piece of uh, eight feet by four feet uh, sheet of plywood. That's the biggest I can get. Uh, I got it in three quarter inch, which is uh, about 19 millimeters. And I chose uh, this particular piece of wood because it's, it has a very nice uh, wood grain texture to it. I think it's called Maranti. Uh, I'm not sure what that's called in English, but that's a kind of like a local uh, rainforest uh, wood. Um, I think it's softwood, maybe a type of uh, you know medium medium hardwood. I can't remember. This is our process. Uh, so this this project is about um, taking it step by step. What I did, and it's a series of time lapse, and I'll also quickly show you the tools that I use. Uh, and, and the stuff that I did and of course it's a, it, it is my first time doing uh, the the epoxy steps so uh, it was a learning curve for me it was my first time epoxying something so big uh, most of the time I use epoxy just to glue stuff together but after watching some videos on, on, on YouTube and everything else uh, where people were doing countertops with epoxy I just had to try using epoxy so uh, I got I, I, I tried I, if you can see from the video uh, I, I actually went through some uh, different epoxies uh, steep learning curve and ch check out the video so we got Lekka Sheng to come over and he was really helpful with his carpentry skills so he helped to cut the corners make the edges round and with his angle grinder and installed the legs so thank you Leng so I got this VTEC uh, multi-purpose epoxy uh, initially, I thought it would be useful, but it turned out to be way too thick, and I had to scrape and spread the epoxy all over using this silicon spatula. So it wasn't it, it wasn't suitable; it's too stiff. It wouldn't level. So I got I then got this uh, crystal clear from Lazada, and I mixed it up, making uh, using my hand uh, homemade uh, mixer with my drill, and it works great. So uh, this epoxy uh, flows much better, as you can see, it's crystal clear. If it self levels, it's very nice. It was just what I'm looking for, and so I use a blowtorch to blow out all the, the bubbles from the um, epoxy, and leaving it all to dry. So after it dry, you can see the unevenness. So I have to get sanding um, discs, and I sanded uh, off the all rough edges and all the high spots then I use purple alcohol to wipe clean the surface to prepare for its final coat and I put two layers of nitro gloves mix it up and then apply the final coat it was a little too little because that's all I had left uh, we, I wish I had more it would be much thicker Use a blowtorch to blow out all the bubbles again. Okay guys, so I hope this video has been quite interesting and informative for you guys. Uh, of course it shows our um, inexperience but and us learning along the way through the hard way on how to make um, a workshop table with a clear epoxy and plywood. I uh, hope th uh, th this may inspire you to do this for your own shop and and of course if you like this video please, please uh, like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching.